Mark Donahue is a famous race driver, Roger Penske's first driver. He won uh, in Indy cars, he won in Trans Am and Can Am and USRRC. Uh, many, many different championships in, in uh, a lot of different disciplines of racing. And uh, I'm lucky enough to be his son. I'm not really sure why my father wanted to race, aside from the fact that it's fun. And if you can do it and get paid, that's even more fun. So he was rather good at it. He was an um, a engineer from Brown University, and he was really uh, very intelligent and could uh, think outside the box and had mechanical or engineering reasons to do the things that he did with the cars. So. Back in those days, uh, people were really driving by the seat of their pants, and he took a much more analytical approach, which is uh, probably why he got along so well with Bruce McLaren and the McLaren organization. When my father won the 72 Indy 500, uh, I was at Lime Rock, and uh, back in those days it wasn't covered live, it was uh, tape delayed, so it was the evening. Um, Memorial Day weekend at Lime Rock is a traditional sports car weekend, and they're not allowed to race on Sunday, so not much goes on on Sunday except for the Indy 500, so that's usually where the parties are. Um, from my recollection, I was in a motor home outside a friend's house, and uh, having a bit of a tiff with my brother when my uh, mom came in and got us out to go watch the end of the race when it looked like he was going to win. Uh, the, the funny thing is, I, I, they had spoken earlier that day, but my dad didn't even tell my mom that uh, he had won the race. Uh, he just wanted to know how the kids were doing. Putting the uh, Sunoco Blue and the 66 on a Senna GTR uh, really is a, a tribute to McLaren's history uh, as well as my father's history, uh, I'm so honored to say. Um, not many people would understand why you would paint a uh, GTR the dark blue that it is uh, unless you had a knowledge of that history. So a lot of people will look at it and don't get it, but those that get it uh, I think it means a lot to him. 